Hello, everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate all of you being here. First off, I better introduce myself in case you don't know who I am. I am the current king of Atlantis. My name is Mitchell, son of Poseidon. It is very nice to meet all of you. And to my left, would you like to introduce yourself in case they don't know who you are? Zylo, son of Hades, camp counselor here. Mm. And to my right. For those that have met me already, I am Emia, and I am the king's loyal, loyal assistant. Mm. Now, normally, I wouldn't be calling upon a lot of people like this, but there are some serious problems going on in our world currently, and I figured having a lot of people from Camp Oasis might be a good idea, since a lot of different mythologies come here. So, I myself, along with Zylo's help of getting campers, mm -hmm. am in need of assistance. I will explain more, but there's a reason why there is this portal behind me. This portal leads to Atlantis. Now, I know probably some of you are worried of, obviously, breathing on the water. Don't worry. I have set it up to where, when you go through this portal, a magic will in basically wrap you. So that way you can breathe on the water with no issues. Other than that, I don't think there's much else. Uh, when we go through, we'll be right next to the throne room. If everybody could take seats, I'd appreciate it. And then we can discuss what's going on. Without further ado, everyone... Welcome to Atlantis. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming here for this meeting. Before we begin our discussion, why you all are here, may the demis around the table please introduce themselves to everyone here. We may begin with the person on my right, Impu. Feel free to introduce yourself. Um, uh, hello. Name's Impu. I'm representing the Egyptian Pantheon. It's nice to meet those that I don't know, and, of course, some old friends of mine. Hello, I am Omiji. I'm representing the Asian Pantheon. It's a pleasure to represent my mythology and meet you all. Hi, I'm Rakara. My stepdad yeeted me down to Earth. I'm also here to represent the Egyptian Pantheon, and this is my dad, Zylo. Thanks, Rakaro. As he said, I am Zylo. I'm representing the Greek Pantheon for this meeting. I hope we can solve whatever seems to be happening right now in this world. Greetings. I am... <coughs> <coughs> I see the king can't hold in his allergies while people speak. Are you alright, Majesty? <coughs> I'm I'm fine. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. I just started coughing and felt really dizzy. But it seems to have disappeared. Uh my apologies. You may speak again. <laughs> I am Ishara, 
son of Ashvatana. I represent the Hindu pantheon. Unlike some, I know how to hold my tongue when others speak. But then again, if a topic intrigues me, who's to say I won't speak my mind? Hello, I am Ned. I represent the Norse pantheon. It's very uh, nice to be able to represent my mythology. It's very exciting to be here and hope to not only solve some issues, but also to try some of the luxurious Atlantean food. Food will be for later. <laughs> now let's get onto the reason why you all are here. The reason you guys are here. King Mitch, are you all right? King Mitch? He is fine. It's nice to meet you all, and we appreciate you coming. We are here to speak to those who wish to listen. Listen closely, my children. A change is coming. A change as rare as a fifth season. A sun rising in the west. One that will reshape existence as we know it. Only a single united path may lead to this insurmountable shift. At the dawn of the world, the gods have nine curiosities, only nine to weave existence as we know it. As the human race began to flourish, these curiosities were bent, broken, and forged into powerful relics, artifacts wielded by the gods themselves. As ages passed, these relics were moved, scattered, and lost to the winds of time. And now the gods themselves stand against progress. The gods stand in the way of fulfilling their own dreams, their own ambitions. Great forces seek to fight for what they want and attain the unattainable, discover the inconceivable, and make the possible inevitable. Only with the nine curiosities converged can the world truly shift and change into what the gods and men believed it could be. Making the impossible possible. Well, then. Uh, well, that was fun. That was a that speech. Happened. Okay. Change is coming. What does that even mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, welcome everybody. We Finally for this now. meeting. It's uh, greatly what? appreciated that all of you have come uh, what, here what, in short what, notice. Um, stop, stop, stop. Oh, yeah. We're what? we're starting over? We're we're not starting over, we're just starting. What you, you uh, didn't catch uh, that last part? You heard that. Yeah. What last you part? As he hit his head. Speech. I think you've had a little trouble with channeling. Oh, uh, my lord, you were saying about how you was giving us sharks a pay rise and dental health care. You know, we, we, we have rows of teeth. We, we really need it. Is that shark talking in English? I, I Is guess that human it... talking in English? Also, I know none of my sharks speak English, so good try. <sighs> Anyways, um, wait. this person, uh, who may you be, if you don't mind introducing oh, yourself? Yeah. My name would this... be Morse, Mitch. Oh. It's a pleasure to be here. I assume you're the king of this place now. Mm. It's nice to meet you, Morris. Um, I don't yes. know him being on the list. He just I don't skim believe... over what you said. How come he gets to sit down? I yeah. think you're meant to sit over along the side. Quiet, Silo. Oh. Uh, you don't but... speak to my dad that way. <laughs> oh, seems to have forgotten it's a new one. That's surprising. What's an awkward situation? Awkward. Well, regardless, well, well, everyone welcome. You. I appreciate no. all of you guys being here. No, no, no. Um, what was that sorry. stuff about artifacts <clears throat> and gods? Yeah. What artifacts and gods? Yeah. King Mitch. All big the dream the Mitch. Curiosities. Stop wasting our time. Oh. We've all heard it all. Mm -hmm. Your Highness, you already spoke to us. Mm hmm. Yeah. Big Assuming horse. gods have taken their own action. As they do. Yes, God. your highness. God Does this happen often with... No, this is a new occurrence. 
I can say this <laughs> no. is the first for him. <laughs> no. Mm hmm. Oh, did you just oh. forget, or was someone just speaking for you? I'm what assuming it was the god speaking for me. <laughs> Interesting. Come in the current. Okay. The gods? Which ones? Does this happen a lot around here? I don't know which ones. No, I still haven't figured that part out yet. No mm -hmm. But anyway, artifacts. Any... Anything about that? Anything uh, that makes sense? It said fake chains coming... Big change coming. Artifacts was get get us spread throughout the wind when the gods used them, um, and all that stuff. Mm. Artifacts and gods that would make mm. sense. But what does that mean, though? Yeah. Somebody was fighting for what they want. I don't mm. know. Mm -hmm. uh, Taking for what they want. Interesting. <sighs> I guess we'll look more into that at another time. Yes, so gonna have to really decipher. Anything we can do anything about it right now. You mean yeah. you cannot channel willingly? No, I didn't even <laughs> know they could take over my body like that. I've only seen them in dreams, not in person. Oh, well, important times call for important situations. I guess so. Uh, but besides this prophecy thing, which I guess we'll have to figure out, there are some other issues going on, not just here in Atlantis, but in our own world. As you guys know, we are demigods from all different mythologies. And no not way. a lot of us have gotten along over the years, which has been mm -hmm. causing issues for the actual gods. Mm-hmm. With great reason, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, More obviously, reason. I can't blame just Camp Oasis for issues. Yes, there have been issues at Camp Oasis, but... I'm sure there's been other issues outside of Camp Oasis that none of us can control. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is coming up with a plan on how to fix these. I'm assuming whatever I had said might lead us towards a solution. But the gods are getting pretty... Cryptic. Cryptic. Could be a solution, could be something much worse. I hope, I hope not. I have an it'll idea. be something peacefully. Hmm? What's your idea? Arranged marriages. That, Ricardo, no. no. What does that help? What What's that? that? No, no, no. No, no. Excuse forces. me. No. Uh, mm. I think it's a little it's more a complicated idea. than that, Ricardo. My culture. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. I also don't think forcing friendly, people to get so married is a good idea either. Mm -hmm. Especially ones Not who are already really. married. Exactly. In books. Uh, it happens oh, all the time you. where I'm from. That, that, well, that it's something I disagree so... with. Hey, this guy gets it. I didn't, Makara. <clears throat> Let's get back to the topic at hand here, please. That's Even if we could do that, it would take more than that to get the gods off each other's backs. And to find a suitable person for you. It's a task. Um, all right. Um, all right, let's, let's get back on now. subject. Please. Thank you. Oh, there. Uh, cancel. Now. I recently became king. I haven't been king for long here. But at the moment, I currently don't even know where Poseidon is. He just kind of gave me the role and vanished. Lord knows know what he'd be doing. Father is. It appears that your father grew bored. It appears that my father has been a pain. Hmm. I can understand that sentiment. Preach into the choir. Well. Mm. Like a bored ass. Yeah. What's that supposed to not everyone. Yeah. Yeah. It seems pretty likely that most of us have issues with our parents. At one point or another. Can I say that again. Mm -hmm. Understand. You could say no that issues again. here. Lucky for some. I'm hoping that with maybe me attempting to get a hold of Poseidon, we can maybe look further into what's going on in the God Realm. I know issues are starting to arise between not just the Greek, but also any Asian, Egyptian. Etc. Etc. Here, what's Lots the of god problems. realm? <sighs> it's a realm that none of us can access. New one of Some of us, rare occasions. Mm -hmm. Very rare occasions. Not really by choice. It just happens. For instance, Atlantis is not in the god realm. Obviously, we're all here. Even the underworld really isn't too much of a god realm. It's kind of fifty-fifty. Well, it depends on which on underworld you're going to, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, the same could be said by any of the other nine realms. Basically, we need to come up with solutions, and that's why I want everyone here. 
Oh. If anyone could brainstorm anything that you think could help, it's From greatly what you said appreciated. Earlier, it sounds like we need to collect some artifacts to make change. I think it's mm -hmm. good. That was the good, main war. Good. Do you want to breach those realms? Uh, I don't think that's the goal here. No. Collect artifacts. I put forth force. War. Oh. Battle. I war is the last thing I would very like. Very little uh, would help as in that regard. As much I as I, you know, agree. we've been kind of disagreement recently, I, I'm pretty good when it comes to research and this type of things. So if we need to figure out exactly what kind of artifacts we need to, you know, solve this issue. We don't even know if it's going to be a good thing yet. Well, mm -hmm. that's why I want to do some research first. I yeah, don't want to we... go head in into this, you know, gather everything and then, yeah, what happens after that? We don't know anything. Unless yeah. we can incur the be God's able to... wrath. May I also point out, may I also point out that before anything, we, we don't even know what artifact they're talking about. And just judging by all Hence. the pantheons, that we have a lot of artifacts to choose from. Hence is why I want to do some mad research before we start deciding on which is which. Yeah, I agree um, with Inpu on this. Deciphering this prophecy that I said would probably be best. What is it fun to say? Uh, hmm. <laughs> don't think it works like that, Ricardo. But it, it, what I mean, what if we just had one laying around somewhere? Mm. Uh, well, we could. We stumble into it. We might. Uh, is that land you know. safe to bring artifacts to? Maybe we could figure out through looking at artifacts themselves? Well, Art of Atlantis is safe, but if we're dealing with gods here, I don't know if... Um, that's interesting. You have to realize we're bringing sure. artifacts from every pantheon. Yeah. Hey, all of you. All of your artifacts will be here. Can you really trust any of us to keep them safe? It doesn't Especially sound safe at all. No, it doesn't. Don't Perhaps we figure anything else about would be this? Be necessary. Um, it's one of the most neutral grounds we have. Mm. I have a suggestion if people are willing to listen. Sorry to butt in. Sure, um, speak. One. If we're not going to trust the fact of it, the artifacts being wide in the open, for example, what if I took them and locked them in time so they cannot be accessed any by me? Well, everyone needs to trust you then, Cal. I know. <laughs> I just Who's know to you say are. you're the only one with access to time? Mm. Also very true. I'm probably not the only one who has access to it. But it is an idea to lock it out of time to get out of the timeline so people can't access that. Seems like putting a target on your own head to you, me. Which I'm willing to take. Also, weren't you just locked in time for five years? What don't if you yeah. lost them all? I don't want to talk about it. What? Right here. Thank you. Ah, uh, oh, what? Yeah. So now, uh, no locked. guarantee that they time. won't be locked really out of in time as well. <laughs> so there's a, there might be a chance it'll be locked away forever. <laughs> you can't even so control your own magic. At the end, having them well, locked in time forever means no one else can grab them. Yes, yeah, so we also means that we can't use yeah. them to protect ourselves. Mm. Actually, I but we don't. A, yeah, there's a lot a, of things we have speak, to look at here. Yeah, there's always option B. Just do what you've been doing. B. Continue locking away any gods that cause us trouble. Mm. It's I'm not sure a good long-term option any for trying to prevent war, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I agree. agree. With Locked away well, gods are the ones we can talk to for answers. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I don't think we should talk to those gods. Yeah. That also yeah, seems dangerous. But they could help. Yeah. Do we even really... think we're powerful enough to do that? Whatever we're going to do is dangerous. Precisely. Yeah. But releasing it a god help. that's dangerous might be an even worse idea. Mm -hmm. This time, it took five of us, to it took five of us and, a, and Mjolnir to take down one god. And how many of us I... are there here? Yeah, that was just one. One, two, three. No, Ricardo, Ricardo. There's about it's 20 just, of us here. Just, yeah. Um, hey, don't count me in. Oh. Are you not not everyone here is a fighter. All right. Yeah. In some capacity. I mean, yes. fighting Not everyone here is ready to take on a god. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. Mm hmm And rather not have to fight the gods, let alone have Relax. any demigods fighting each other. And what's the point yeah. of this? The what point is trying to find here. something peaceful. You're talking to <laughs> many people who have fought with each other for many, many years. There, you'll find very little peace. Mm. Maybe not peace with the gods, but peace with the demis might do just mm. as well. Wait, we need to find some sort of first step towards that. Exactly. Well, I only we know to... love. Yeah. It's always the, the option we release some them. of the gods that we've had captured, but I don't think uh, that's the best uh -uh. idea either. Mm -mm. We really don't trust that idea. Maybe not the best idea in the world. No, no. 
I, for one, think this is a sign. We are within the last Kali Yuga, one of the fourth and final Yugas in the Yuga cycle. Uh. It is one full of conflict and sin, and it is the final one before the purge. So, maybe this is just a sign of things to come. Oh, mm. great. Sounds like Ragnarok. Do you what? think it's Sounds like war. I think it's something good. Precisely. Oh. If I may speak so freely. Go ahead. I think we should sign some sort of interpantheon type contract, as in, so we don't, you know, some inter conflict ban. So, kind of like a peace treaty in a sense. It's in not a, a bad sense. idea. Fellowship. It's very unlikely to work. It's a good shout, though. It's a first Good luck like with that. It. It's better than nothing, that's for yeah. sure. I feel like we if we're not even attempted to, uh, I'm, I'm... we're not willing to do it, then what purpose does all this seek? An yeah. idea, but how are we going to enforce that? <sighs> exactly. Maybe, if, yeah. If someone disagrees, we're just going to gang up on them? Is that how we get peace? Mm. <laughs> Sounds more <laughs> like a bludgeoning. I think we make, this area, <laughs> we make this area a complete safe zone. Any fighting and you're banished. I can't agree with that one. Any fighting here in Atlantis, I will banish you immediately. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. need the citizens here getting hurt over foolish problems. Fine. Then I feel like we should just get this treaty started then. Everyone agreed to just not be a jerk to each other for at least a little bit until we figure out all this stuff. As long as we're in here. Yeah, as long as we're in. Preferably. Yeah. Please. Oh, sorry. Agree to one space. Yeah. Mm. One space, yes. Atlantis. That is fine. As long as we can like, set all our differences here, we can at least get some work done. Exactly. Yeah, I think that works, Mitch. That'd be a first. Okay. Well, then it looks like we need to write up a peace treaty in a sense. That's the plan. Uh, <sighs> now, I hate to bring back this prophecy that I don't fully understand, but I think we might as well end this meeting here for the moment. I think anybody who wants to try and decipher this, attempt to. That's our best option right now to figure out what this means and what these artifacts are. I'll keep my mind on it. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Thank you guys for coming. <sighs> yeah.